Hi and welcome back to a new video. Today I will show you how to use a breadboard. And this is one of the most basic thing you need to learn if you want to get started with electronics. And I can guarantee you, you will use it for rest of your life. So without any further ado, let's get started. If you are getting started with electronics then chances are you are probably not comfortable or familiar with the soldering and that is where we need some kind of a solderless alternative that is where a breadboard comes into the picture. This is how a generally full size breadboard looks like. They come in different shapes and colors. It doesn't really matter what size you get but I highly recommend getting a full size one. If you have more than one breadboard you can easily combine them like this using these tabs to form an even larger breadboard. Now coming to the point, how do you use one? Well, before using one, you need to understand how it is connected internally. Pretty much all breadboard have two parts, power line and prototyping space. This is your power line and as you can see, there are two of them for your convenience. These power lines are connected vertically in set of 5 in a full size breadboard, which means these power lines are connected from here to here, then there is a break point over here and then once again they are connected from here to here. They are connected vertically and not horizontally. So let's say if I connect my 5V over here and ground over here, then there will be 5V and ground in these rows. If I want to get 5V and ground below this line as well, then I need to add jumper cable over here. Now let's talk about prototyping space. Unlike power lines, these points are connected horizontally in two sets. From over here to here, then there is a break point along entire breadboard. And then again, it continues from here to here. To make this thing clear, I will remove the back tape of the breadboard and you can clearly see what I was talking about. So let's say if you want to connect your LED to the breadboard, so you will connect it like this and not like this, such that this entire line will be anode of the LED and this entire line will be cathode of your LED. Now if you wish to add a resistor, you can simply add it like this. And let's also add a tactile switch and after giving it some power, if I press the switch, LED will glow. Finally, this is how you connect your IC to the breadboard. You should always connect the IC separated by the middle line, which means like this and not like this. And that's all you need to know about the breadboard. If you need any more information, you can visit my website. I have a detailed article about the breadboard on my website. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this and I will see you guys in the next one.